What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to to the channel. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be an interesting video because today we're gonna be talking about the big, the big question of what if. You're probably wondering what. You're probably wondering what I mean by that. Well, ever since we saw Sting. Debut in WWE in 2014, right around right around the fall of 2014 at Survivor Series. A lot of people have been wondering, what if, you know, like, what if we saw Triple H versus Sting at WrestleMania? We got that. We did indeed get that. Another big question was, what if John Cena teamed up with Sting, and I believe if I if my memory is correct, we did get that one. But the big question is, what if we saw Sting versus the Undertaker at WrestleMania? Currently, as we speak, as I'm speaking these words anyway, there the rumor is that this match is in the works. Yes, supposedly. They are supposedly WWE is trying to um, is trying to get this match to pass. Um, hang on a second. I'm 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 actually on Twitter right now, so hang on. But yeah, but yeah. So the rumor is that it's currently in the works. Uh, no one really knows if if this is gonna come come to pass. If it is, um, hey. Hey, I'm hey, I'm all for it. Um But um But anyway, um but anyway, honestly, um Yeah, again, we 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 could see it um We could see 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 that match come to pass after all this time. After all this time, we could see that match come to pass. It, now, we all know that Sting was always was always the stand was one of the main pillars of of WCW. I think I think him, Ric Flair, and Dusty Rhodes were the three main pillars of WCW, the founding one you know, the three founding fathers, if you will, of of WCW who 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 dominated WCW with an iron fist. Obviously Ric Flair winning winning literally most of his title, most of his world titles, he's won on that brand, on that promotion, if you will. Sting, Sting, all of his titles Every, all of his world titles has won has been won in either WCW or in TNA. Uh, Dusty Rhodes, he had hell of a success in WCW. He he actually had had a really good run in WWE. Like the first, I, I think he was a part of WWE for like maybe a couple years in the in the in the late eighties, I, I believe. Um, but, uh, but yeah, but yeah, those three just dom just completely, just completely took WCW and just, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I was, I'm, don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to describe it, honestly, but, um, you know, and, um, you know, they, you know, they were the ones that brought, that introduced us to the match that we now that we've known for the longest time as war games and ever since um and now obviously you guys know WWE has taken a lot of the a, a, a lot of the like like names and you know you know like you know the character names and pay-per-view names and match names from WCW like obviously um like obviously the great the great American Bash was one of them, uh, the American Dream, um, uh, War Games, just to name name just to name a few, and um, you know and and Undertaker, 
it it doesn't you know he was you know he was he was one of the one of the most dominant men in all of WWE. Twenty one, I I think what twenty. Like I, I think right now he's twenty five and two. If I remember correctly, he's twenty five and two at WrestleMania. So that's a really good. That that's a pretty awesome. That's one. That's an amazing record. Um, you know, for him to have dominated WrestleMania, have have him win multiple titles in you know in WWE, you know, and as you know in W in WCW. Actually now, actually now that I think about it. The, the only reason why he won the WCW Tag Team titles with Kane to begin with was because those titles came to WWE during the invasion. So, but we've seen so many different what ifs, but never of but never Sting versus the Undertaker. Currently, as we speak, according to some uh, uh, according to sources, not saying names, but according to sources, they're saying that the that this match. Is going to is going to happen this year at this year's WrestleMania in two month in in less than two months. If this is true, if this is true, then this match will will go down in history as the greatest match of all time. Ever, no other match could ever top this one. Because when you because when you look at it. You look you look at a guy like Sting, who has won so many titles throughout his entire career. He's won multiple WCW titles, he's won multiple NWA titles, he's won multiple WCW tag titles, you know, multiple TNA titles, tag titles over there. Undertaker has won has won the tag titles like what one I would say about five times. I, I would say a five-time champion, if I remember correctly, because I know that he won tag titles with with Big Show and Kane. So I think those were the only ones. Um, but of course, uh, but of course, I could be wrong. Com but of course, I could be wrong. So if you guys do know, comment below. I could be wrong about that. But um, but um, but yeah. But yeah, um, of course, to you know, Undertaker winning multiple WrestleManias, you know, twenty one and zero, just li literally twenty one and zero, an amazing feat, an amazing feat. Although losing that match to Brock Lesnar, I think he's gone down. I think he will go. I think, in my opinion, I think we can all agree, he is the true goat, the greatest of all time. No matter who you're talking to. He is the greatest of all time. And I think for him to go up against another GOAT like Sting is just absolutely amazing because these two have never met, met before in a wrestling ring. I would love to see that because with the with with the recent rumors about what's happening with WrestleMania, um Honestly, you never know. You never know. Oh, and if you guys are wondering why I keep turning my head towards the TV, there's this show. There's a show on Fox. It's called 25 Words or Less, starting Meredith Vieira. These the the these two episodes, the you know, the first episode featured um um almost say featured Naomi and, and Natalia. The other side featured Apollo Cruz and Mustafa Ali. This one now features the New Days, Xavier Woods, and Big E, and of course the power couple of Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. And Woods just promoted his own channel, just going up, up, down, down. Literally just did that, which is kind of funny. Which is kind of funny. But anyway, yeah. But anyway, again, I think. Uh, if, but again, if if this match does come come to pass, I would love to see it. I would love to just experience it, just witness that feeling you know and you know and that's one of the main things that why i want to be in wwe is because i wanted to get I, I want to get those chills down my spine and just be like i was there i was there when i saw this match so wwe if you guys are watching hit me up hit hit me up 
slide in, slide in the DMs on Twitter. Like, the links are down below. Anyway, um, yeah, again, there's really no, there was really, there's really not much to talk about with this one, but you know what? Honestly, um, this could, again, if, if this match does come to pass, this could very may well be the best match ever for WrestleMania, as, um, I mean, these guys have, have never faced before in a WWE ring. These guys have, are, are literally the exact same thing. They're like two sides, they're like two sides of the same coin. Both, both, both these guys are absolutely bizarre, but they, but they can, but they can pull, but what they do in the ring, they can pull it off easily. Anyway, guys, those are just my thoughts and just like, kind of like a review as to whether or not this match could happen. Let me know in, in the comments below if you guys want to see this because I want to see it. I know I want to see it. So, with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any new content that comes your way. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to links will be down in the description below. And if you guys have any fan mail that you want to send me, my address will be at the top of the top of the description below because I want to read off those letters. I want to see them. I want to read them to you guys right here on the channel. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.